Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I figured I would do a request a video which is how to edit your videos and thumbnails all on your phone. So my phone right here is an iPhone 8 Plus and you can use whatever phone you have, especially an iPad. Anything can work. If you are a new YouTuber on here wanting to learn how to do this, it can take a long time but you'll get there. Just know that. So just believe in yourself. You can do this. Let's get to it. The editing app that I use is iMovie. It's free, it's on your phone or whatever it may be, whatever device you have. The purple star. It honestly works so good. I've been using this for, I don't know, ever since 2015. It's simple, it's fast. When you open the app, there is a plus sign and it says create project. So just click on that. And there's movie or trailer. So just click on movie. Click create movie, which is at the bottom. So then you'll come up with this. You wanna click on the plus sign. And then you click on moments, which is at the top. I'm just gonna record a little something and then we can put it on the video. Yeah, this is just a little test. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Okay. That was awkward, but you know, whatever. Then you wanna click on the video that you want. So this is my video right here. So the quality isn't that bad, but it is going to be a little shaky, so just know that. So if you wanna get a tripod for your phone or whatever it may be, that is good too. Click on the sound effect, which is at the bottom. And I go to 500, all the way to 500, because you want the sound to be loud enough for your viewers to hear it. If you wanna add some music, I like to screen record non-copyrighted music. I screen recorded this. It is just passion. This is called Passion Fruit by Drake. It's just a non-copyrighted video. So what you wanna do is click the plus sign again, go to moments, go to that video, click on the plus sign. And when it's added, click on it again, and then click on detach and click on background. So now it's in the background music. I like putting it down to like maybe around 60, 69, around that range because I don't want it too loud to overpower the actual video sound. I think my dog wants to come in. Come on in. We have a new guest in here. <laughs> come here, Vinny. Okay. <laughs> so now that your video has some audio to the background, Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So to cut off like some parts, I click on split, click on that, and then delete that part. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So then I click that and then click on split. And then that's when I use my intro. My parents and my sister left, so now Vinny's getting all crazy. <laughs> so you want to click on that video, click on plus. And then go back to... So then there comes the transitions. So I click on that transition, but I like using the last one. I click on this. It's also called Fade. They have different names right here. You can use whatever you want. My camera battery is really low, so it's probably going to die soon. Since I want the audio to be loud so you guys can hear it, I go to like 260, around there. Click on the audio, and then click on the scissors, and click on split. I go to the end of the intro, split that as well. Where it's underneath the intro, I take that, and then put it to zero, so then the volume is mute. So then you guys can hear the intro. So wherever you want the audio in the background to like start, add it where you want it to go. So for me, I want to add it right there. So just keep scrolling and then you'll be all set. Now I want to add another transition to the end of that intro. I'm going to add fade transition. Oh. So today I figured I would do a video. And then if you want to delete some weird parts, just click split and then click on that video you want to delete and then click delete. So now you have this. I would do a video on just vlogging a little something. 
cute. Another thing I do is zooming in on some parts, like some people do that, and I don't know, it's like a new little trend. So delete any ums, because all your viewers want to watch is just you talking about random stuff, not just like going on and on. Trying not to be a little cringy, you know. Now I'm going to split that. Um... And then I'm gonna click on that video. See that little thing in Majiggy right there? Click on that. It says pinch to zoom video. And then you just zoom in. Cringy, you know. Um Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I do my little zoom ins. And yeah, that's basically how you edit. Hopefully you guys get the idea. Now on to my favorite part is the thumbnail this is the clickable thing the thing that will actually get people to watch your video okay it depends what your video is about and you got to come up with the right title and everything to make the thumbnail you just tape a little bit and like do different faces whatever you want to do so now i'm going to go to that video either that or whatever it is whatever one you like best um, I'm going to screenshot this part. I'm going to go to the app Airbrush. Now we're going to click on it. Click on the photo that you want to use for your thumbnail. And to edit this, you can do whatever you want to edit it because everyone has different aesthetics, you know. I like going to Tools first and then I go to Enhance. And I just do random stuff with it. I go to the blur effect and then just blur out the background. I'm just blurring out the background. Someone asked how I did the distortion thing, like with the face. A lot of people do that and it's really funny. I go to reshape. And then just do different stuff with my face. Love that. This is what it looks like. I look really creepy, but you know, it's all good. We're doing just fine. <gasps> so we're gonna go to whiten. I feel like it really brightens the photo. They have their own different kinds of filters on there as well. So on this app, Airbrush, if you like their filters, you can use those. Now to add text to your thumbnail, let's go on to Fonto. All of these apps are free, by the way, so you don't have to pay nothing for it, okay? Your parents don't have to be like, okay, $3.99 each month. <laughs> click on the camera, then click on photo albums. Click on the photo that you wanted to use for your thumbnail. Hey, Vince. Aww. Now that it's added, I'm gonna click anywhere you want. It says add text. There's all different kinds of fonts, like, <laughs> I don't even know how many, but there's so many. I'm just gonna click on style and then I like the white text but you can also go to stroke I use like the black one then go to style I click on the bottom all the way to the right I like that one because it like outlines the back of it um, and if the stroke is too big you don't like that you can use a smaller one it all depends on you I'm gonna do that to all of them i'm also gonna say love that you can also tilt the text you can also go to the right and you can curve the text so i see a lot of youtubers do that they curve it you can add one of those cool fonts this one's called ranchers and i feel like a lot of youtubers use that one let's do yellow and then orange for the back i will come back to you guys with the final result i just finished the thumbnail now to save this thumbnail you go all the way to the right and then it says save image click on that and save successfully yes Ooh. There's a little ad they got. Okay, I see, I see. That's basically the thumbnail. <laughs> also, for your profile picture, you can add anything you want. I just changed my profile picture yesterday and my channel art too. If you want a video on that, how to make channel art, or give this video a like. I have this app, Magic Eraser, which is right there. Wow, hello. What you do is you grab a photo that you really like. This is my profile picture that I used, but 
it has like a whole different background now <laughs> and just erase the background and that is going to act as our png for the background but if you ever mess up and you like go off the line that's not good click on restore and then you can erase that part now that that is done let's go find an aesthetically pleasing background aesthetic cloud background this isn't my background but whatever so i'm gonna click on that and then save image and it saves the image you don't have to crop it you don't have to screenshot it or whatever we're gonna go back into fonto so this is the photo right here now what we do is click on this and then we click on add image right here and this is the photo that i want see how it erases the whole entire background that's amazing i can add whatever size you want to it and it's really cool so now you can save it save successfully oh my god they have another ad oh my god yes come on girl love that also to save your video on the middle and then click on save video and then do whatever one you want but I always do 1080p this will export quick obviously because it's only 30 seconds hey and that's how you do it hey guys it's Lauren and welcome back to my YouTube channel yeah. oh, I fall that is how you make a video that is how you edit a video that's how you make your thumbnail that's how you make your profile picture for youtube and also if you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up hit that red subscribe button down below if you haven't already and click the bell while you're at it to get notified to whenever i post any youtube video also follow my social media accounts which will be shown at the end of this video and in the description down below. So comment down below hashtag notification squad so you can get a shout out in my next YouTube video. Today's shout out of the day goes to this person right here. Love you so much and thank you so much for your support. Also if you guys want you can send me any letter or mail you want and I will be opening some fan mail if I find any in my PO box. So in any video that I see and you guys sent me any fan mail, I will open it. And my P.O. Box information will be down in the description below. So if you want to send me anything, feel free to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, be confident and be you. Love you! See you.